Cedar Falls Utilities has been a partner with the city and their shared vision of providing first-class services to residents since its inception in 1888, when progressive civic leaders first consolidated the clean, safe water services into a municipally owned utility. Following the success of this endeavor, citizens added electrical service in 1913 to the utility company and began providing gas services to CFU customers in the 1950s. Cedar Falls typically has a, uh, been a community that really uh, believes in itself and is not afraid of a challenge. And in fact, I'm reminded of that um, at our board meetings. Our leaders are a reflection of the community, first of all. They're appointed and uh, approved by the mayor and city council. And uh, we talk about our mission statement and we hold that near and dear to our heart in regard to that the reason we exist is to provide our customers with innovative, high quality services that bring the best value to the community. Fast forward to 1993 when CFU ventured into the communications arena and quickly had the city wired for high speed internet. A momentous benefit for Cedar Falls residents nearly a decade before customers' lives filled up with tweets, status updates, and likes. You know, 20 years ago, to have the high speed internet and the data and be able to stream, and it was truly a luxury. Uh, today, it's a necessity to our customers. However, with ever-increasing demands on its network, Cedar Falls Utilities outgrew their copper connections with its limited bandwidth. So, the Board of Directors moved forward with plans to upgrade the city to a gigabit community with a fiber optic network. This first-of-its-kind endeavor in Iowa puts Cedar Falls in an exclusive group of communities worldwide. The, the beauty of the network that we built is that the fiber that we've put in the ground should be good for dozens of years. An amazing technology in that uh, the capacity for the network uh, for transmitting data is virtually limitless. Even CFU customers that do not subscribe to the gigabit service are still able to take advantage of built-in benefits of the new fiber to premise network. So there's three components to that. But one is speed, and then reliability, and then connectivity. So at 4 p.m. when the kids get home, or at 9 p.m. when everybody's um, online, we still deliver full speeds, whereas a lot of providers don't. We've uh, got a fully redundant network, so we can lose a router in Kansas City and still deliver full internet service. That happens automatically behind the scenes. The customer doesn't even realize that something's happened because we've really taken the initiative to get that reliability and that redundancy. The fiber optic network goes far beyond the YouTube video uploads, photos to Facebook, and streaming the latest show on Netflix. The gigabit service allows the Cedar Falls School District to introduce Chromebooks into the curriculum and efficiently utilize the technology. Cloud computing is, is a, a big buzzword these days, um, but the Chromebooks, they leverage cloud computing. You take the brains and the storage out of the device, but you put that infrastructure in the cloud and that makes the connection to the cloud that much more important and that's how the schools are using that that connection. It is also providing Cedar Falls businesses with the tools to distinguish themselves from the competition in the global marketplace. Fiber to the premise and the gigabit community that we did achieve really allows us to provide high reliability and high speed uh, connection with uh, the rest of the world. Uh, we have customers out in the industrial park that really rely upon that because they are doing business overseas and they're doing marketing efforts overseas based through our system. The next innovation is just around the corner and CFU's continued mission is to anticipate those innovations that best serve their community. Congratulations to Cedar Falls Utilities, winners of the 2014 Economic Development Award.